Uh, this is one, three, four, two, our test video. The first thing is we're going to show the uh, thermostats operating. This thermostat's for the fan. You might be able to hear it running. This fan up here. It's about 85 degrees out. It's set at about 80 right now. So if we run it up to about 100 or anything over 80, you can see it's cutting the fan off. And we run it back down to about 80, fan speeding back up. Now, second um, thermostat is the 104 degree set point for the Class 1 Division 2 rating in the SDE side. So basically, um, this should stay set at 104 degrees, so if any time it exceeds 104 degrees in the SVE room, it's going to shut the system down. However, for our testing purposes, it's about 85 degrees out right now, so uh, what we'll do is it's set at 104 right now, and you can see the system control power is on. If I drop this below uh, our current temperature outside, it should turn the power off, which will drop this down to about 80 and you hear the thermostat click and our power is now off. We run it back up above our outside temperature. We'll put it back up to 104 where it should be. You can see control power is back on. All right. Our next test for 1342 is to stimulate the knockout tank high level flow tripping. You can see that the SE blower is on and running. We're going to go around to the front. Our compressor is running. Now, we're going to use a jumper and trip out. Alright, the bottom two. Now, that simulates the knockout tank high level flow. Now, shut the door. You have to come towards you, Eric. Now, you can see we've got the high level alarm uh, light is lit. And all we should have to do to get everything to come back on is press the reset, because everything's in auto. Reset, we're all back up. And that's that. This is our uh, vacuum and flow test for system 1342. You can see we're at 60 inches of water column vacuum. Our dilution line is completely shut at the top one. This is showing the flow on the SVE, which is tick under 200 CFM right now. Let's go take the amp readings from the front. Our blower is at 17.9 amps. This is our pressure versus amperage test on the air spars. Take over 14 psi. And 12.3 amps. Okay, we're going to show how the interlocks work on this. Um, with the, the everything's off currently, so um, we'll try and turn the air sparge in auto and the aftercooler in auto. And you can see they're not coming on because the SVE is off. So let's try this again. We'll turn the SVE on. You can hear it starting up. Now the air sparge compressor shouldn't come on unless you have the aftercooler on. So we'll turn the air sparge in auto. You can see it's still not coming on because the aftercooler is not on. But turn that back off. If the aftercooler is on, you can turn the air sparge on and there it is. So that's how the interlocks work. And if you shut the SVE off, Everything shuts down. And that's how it's supposed to be.